welcome back. In this video, we're going to continue our studies of area and add to it the area of kites and kite-related figures. Now's a good time to pull out your notes with your area formulas on it, and you can cross-check that with what I uh, already have here. This should match up with what you have in your notes. So, in summary, we have the area of a rectangle. We know that's base times height. Area of a square is base times height, or side squared. Area of a parallelogram, its formula is base times height, but height better be the altitude. Be careful, it's not just one of the sides, whereas the height in a rectangle and a square, the altitude's already built right in. The area of a triangle, at this point, all we know it's one-half base times height, where the height is the altitude. There are more areas of triangles to follow. So be ready, save some room in your notes. The area of a trapezoid is one-half height times base one plus base two, where the height, again, is the altitude. Area of a trapezoid can also be calculated by median times height, where the median is the average, here we go, where the median is the average of your two bases, or one-half base one plus base two. Now let's take a look at a kite. In a kite, we know that the diagonals, one of the diagonals, is the perpendicular bisector of another. So since the diagonals are perpendicular, we can look at our kite and we could divide it into a triangle on the top and a triangle on the bottom with kx and tx being altitudes of those two kites. So separating my kites out over here, I have a triangle on the top, triangle KIE, and a triangle on the bottom, triangle TIE. And the area of the top triangle then, we could calculate that, that's just going to be one half KX, one half height times the base IE. That would be the area of the top triangle. Then we could divvy it up and we could find the area of the bottom of the tri bottom triangle. That's one half TX times, and again, my same base IE. And that would equal the total area of our kite, the area of the triangle on the top, the area of the triangle on the bottom, add them together, got the area of your kite. Well, looking a little bit more closely at what I have here, I have a common factor in my top triangle, one half and IE, and one half and IE. So what I could do is I could factor out that common factor, leaving me with one half IE. times kx plus tx. Well, let's take a closer look at kx plus tx. kx plus tx, well, that is the entire length kt. So, adding that together, I have one-half IE times KT. Well, that's my formula for the area of a kite. IE is a diagonal, and KT is my diagonal. So, I have just derived the area of a kite. The area of a kite is one-half. D1, the diagonal, one diagonal, times the other diagonal. One half of diagonal IE times diagonal KT is the area of our kite. One half D1 times D2. That 
is the formula for the area of a kite. You can add that to your list. Interestingly enough, a rhombus is also a kite. So, area of a rhombus is one half d1 times d2. However, save some room on your list, a rhombus is also a parallelogram. So, we can find the area of a rhombus by doing our kite formula, but we also may find it handy to have our parallelogram formula, base times height, or the height is the altitude. So let's take a look, but look at a couple of sample problems. Calculate the area of a kite with diagonals of 9 and 4. Well, I have my two diagonal measures, 9 and 4. My formula, area of a kite, is equal to 1 half of 9 times 4, which is 1 half of 4 is 2, so 9 times 2, or 18 units squared. That's the area of a kite that has diagonals 9 and 4. You can also calculate the area of a rhombus. We're given this rhombus. It's got a side of 12, so we know all the sides are 12. However, this is not base times height. Our area wouldn't be 144. We can't go 12 times 12. In fact, we don't have enough information to calculate the diagonals either. Actually, we do. But that's not going to be the easiest way to do that. We can use our properties of a 30, 60, 90 and find the area of the rhombus easy enough. So I draw an altitude. My hypotenuse is 12. That's 2x. So I know x is 6. So my height is 6 square root of 3. So the area of this particular rhombus is equal to 6 radical 3 times 12, or 72 square root of 3 units squared. And instead of figuring out the diagonals, I simply did the height times the base. I kind of made this into a rectangle, cut off that, put it on the other side, figure out my height. So used my properties of a 30, 60, 90, found the height, multiplied it by my base, finished with the area of a rhombus. And you'll get more practice with this when I see you in class.